to the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I love that. Song. All right, so now do we do, do we go straight into executive session, well, right? Motion and motion and we'll go into executive session. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Roll call vote, please. With the intent to return to public session. Afterwards. Roll call, Jerry. You're in favor? Aye. I'm in favor. Mark my Scott. Aye. Aye. Hey, don't be answering for me. <laughs> Are you in favor of going into executive session? Sure. Thank you. I'm yes. in favor. Four out of four. Well, okay. Yes, please. Yeah.
out of executive session. I'm entertaining a motion to approve the ANI lot from the ANI lot. To approve the plan. No, we're just saying the plan for the ANI lot from Moore Lane as presented to us. Dated December 7th, 2012. All those in favor? Don't have to find a board. <laughs> well, there's three of us. Say aye. We're going to wait until the rest of the board. Well, they're just going to come in and sign it. Thank you. Uh, I think we should wait until the rest of our board. Right. Let them get back up. We're, we're still in session. We're not there. Mm. Peter. Yes, I. We're still in session, so. I'm still in the building. Right. Elvis hasn't left. We have one member missing. Well, wait for him. So don't yell at me until he's come back. Oh. I thought we were taking care of this issue. Or something. <laughs> Got some pool balls, maybe some eggs. Anybody know any uh, card tricks? <laughs> did, uh, did we have a chance to say the Pledge of Allegiance? Yeah, yes, 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 we weren't here for that. Okay. You can do it yourself or you wish. Before we were banging on the door. Do you want it? Yeah. No. Okay, I will entertain a motion to approve the ANR lot for Moore Lane, dated December 7, 2012. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those who, opposed? Who, uh, who seconded that? I did. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right. Do you have the motion? No, no, my lot. No, no. Magic. Indoors plan until I hear from Chris. No, 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 you did yeah, say yeah. All right, all right. right. you did yeah. what to wish for. I don't wish for to be in chair. All right, well. I, I, I second the motion, or if that's what you're looking for. All right, all those in favor of torturing me for another year, oh, saying aye. 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 I abstain. All right, that's okay. fine. How about vice chair? I'll nominate Peter Scott as vice chair. No. Yeah, so we want to do it? After, sure. sure. All right. Oh, some fun. I'll second that motion. All those signified by saying aye? Aye. 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 Well, I'm unanimous. Yeah. Uh, clerk, um, whose stamps do you have left still? <laughs> I can order anybody's stamps. Oh, you can order them. Yes. Um, I, I nominate Richie. Clerk? 
Wilson? I'll second. Put the second that. All right. in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 And what else we got? Is that it? That's it. That's it. That's it? Oh, okay. Good. Oh, okay. committee assignments. Committee assignments. Um, you're on the sewer. You want to stay on the sewer? Yeah, yeah, we're about to come. You and I are doing the, the, the Fletcher thing, and we're going to meet next Tuesday. Correct? Yeah. Um, we have CPC. CPC is still on the CPC. What's CPC? CPC. Community preservation. We have the signed, signed bylaw committee, too, which I want to see if we can. Uh, yeah, let's bring that up to that right on the issues. agenda to take care of that PDQ before we get too many yeah, other things in here. That's signed bylaw. Bylaw. All those, yeah, those so, people put in years into that thing. That's what, what it's going to look like, you know, what colors you can use, how big, it's, that type of thing. Before we start getting the uh, neon lights. All we need to do is get the approvals from this board and the approvals from okay. the department. All right, we'll schedule some time. Let's, let's just do it now. Good. All right. Not today. Okay. Well, I mean, Anything else? What do you mean yeah. not today? I'm Vice Chair. Do you want to? No, no, no. It's not as so, um, so huh? Mark, it's not that you posted the No, I mean, next week I want to be over. Mark, that was the, uh, the, the person from the planning board on the signed by law committee, so I'd like to maintain that and bring it back. Sure. I agree. I agree. Thank you. Thank you. I'll put a lot of time into it. You should do magic. Well. Magic. Do you want to do magic too? Yeah. Okay. What's well, magic? Uh, the planning That's council. the uh, sub region, the 13 count sub region of NAPC, Little Tennessee. Yeah, anything else? So, did somebody make a motion on the magic? I nominated Don. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Who seconded that? Nobody. 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 All right, we got anything else? Or can we move on to the good stuff? I have a question. Yes, sir. When will the plan be released so I can record it? Um, after I hear back from Chris that I can release it. Town Council. Right. Why is he saying you can't release it? <laughs> we just want to make sure everything's all squared away. We signed it. Subject to him making sure everything's all set. And we can release it. Sorry, I'm not sure what, what, what else is necessary. It's call Chris. Yeah. Call, call Chris in the morning and see when you can have it. But what else can I tell you? We signed it tonight. We just want to make sure Town Council's fine with everything. On your end or whatever, we just you know, let him say everything's okay. Release it. Okay. I don't know what else to tell you. Right. I mean, I assume everything will be all set tomorrow morning, but uh, that's why pretty much why we signed it. Okay. So just give him a call in the morning. If he calls morning and says everything's all set, you can come and pick it up and make us a bunch of copies off the mile iron and we'll be all set. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, anything else? Uh, Bill, well, we do that stuff too. We have. Um, we're trying to squeeze in the signing of plans for, I forget what it's, I've said the same The thing. orchards. The orchards, yeah. all right, I couldn't remember the name. The orchard. Now, we don't have the covenant back yet, so we, I know Lou is still working with Chris about Well, I, it's work. really my fault, or, you know, it, um, I had given, Revised covenant today to Morgan. She had told me that we had to go to council, whatever. So, and on top of that, we're, we're still um, trying to get the, you know, find the bank to get them to sign anyway. So, even if town so council is we can sign it and just leave it until. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. That's all fine. That's no problem. Yeah. How many, how many sets do you have? I just have one set of originals, the keynotes of the three mile arts that go to the registry of deeds. And what we'd like is to have all the other sheets signed just so that if the contractor's in the field, we can make sure he's using that. How about we put them over there and we'll walk over inside? Sure. Can we just spread them out? So yeah, yes, please. Them? That would be okay. great. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so try to keep it one by one. one, by one, one, by one, one um, so we can try to get a row of suits up there. Here is your compound. We can multitask. I've been going through the um, old peer review accounts and found three that were on the checkpoints out. 
Okay. Um, okay. Um, I decided against my world. Uh, uh, so yeah. 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 What do you mean my last year? <laughs> Sorry, I, I spoke too soon. And then we can transfer some money to cover legal bills that were paid. And it's just, it's a just to asking the board to vote to approve that. And why don't we, uh, we have excess bonds to the tune of 163 for Concord Oil that we should return back. Um, $100.26 to Waterford Development Corp. Yeah, these guys are on the bottom right. The mileage are going to be $766 way fund to fund the legal bills for this. Yeah, correct. Motion to approve those. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. What are we doing? Counts that are in the packet. We're, 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 we're transferring funds. We're, we're giving money back for the funds that we're not using anymore that they paid for us. For right. No, they did. Peer review funds. Pocket oil, peer review funds. There's money left over. Aye. These were all in the packet. All right. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. All of these guys are. Right. Can we get a stamp? You put for everything but the registry. That one has to be original signatures. Okay. Are the um the farmers will come? Oh yeah, eight thirty. All right. They could, but all these Yeah, it's only three. Yeah, they're all three different. Just, yeah. And those ones can be done with the um, Sharpie. The other ones can be done whatever. Right. We'll make copies. Like I said, it's just easier to keep track when it's in, under construction to make sure everybody has the final ones. Is it too late to change the name of the road? Macintosh. Well, you should have spoken up earlier. We couldn't go to that. You don't like Macintosh, though? My girlfriend thinks I have the name of the road. I would have named that word. Oh, it's um. Get credit where you can. No, that's okay. You just break your own phone. Very quiet. Somewhere I have a copy, a full copy of the drainage books with all the get all the latest stuff plus I put in all the oil so that can supersede all the other ones so that matches the final plan and I will get you a CD um, put it on the transmit on it on the transmit on um, what I'll do is I'll scan everything in and give you one CD that has all the AutoCAD files and the PDFs of all the signed plans and that way you don't have a million CDs for it. Okay, that would be great. So I'll do that when when you release the plans, we'll get everything scanned and then get it back to you. Okay. Yeah, that was yes. Water department sometimes has... If you could just talk to them too about okay. what you might need, that'd be great. Yeah, I would, we were going to just get. <coughs> we have three separate plans, and then do you need detail sheets as well? Yeah. Okay. So you're going to end up with five or six files and some of them. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Do you want me to fill in the date of endorsement? Or do I'll go ahead and do that, do that later. Yeah. Okay. Because I'll do that and I'll do the town clerk certification. Okay. Great. When Thank you. I was going to ask you if you needed me to help. Okay. Thank you. Is it fast enough for you? Yep. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's what it was. Right, I know that. That's very good. And the covenant is just a mile. The last mile. So we, is this it? Thank you. We have anything else? Do we have bills? Do you have writer's cramp yet? <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, I thought she was that. Some crap I got in my hand. No? Yeah. 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 And our white Who has to sign this? I have a list for it. I'll just make sure I have a And so they didn't print out the mylar, so I we'll have to put that on for the next time. And what's this for? What's called pieces? The A&R? No, it's open space parcels. That's the one that divides, um, after the town meeting vote, Okay, it divides the open space parcel into two pieces, one to stay with conservation and one to go to park and rent. The special sign is always up until August. Um, oh, you don't have to. Okay. The plans are all set. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I don't know what you're asking. What do you guys see? Breaking ground? Thank you. Come back soon. Hey. Are you going to say this? Sorry, sir. I'm hoping you cut all the roads first, or what do you I'm hoping before January 1st, assessment date. <laughs> January 2nd. <laughs> 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 if you could just drop me down the old thing. Yeah, I know she's on the gate. There's no rush. Thank you, good night. Have we, have we, uh, we have 10 minutes. Well, yeah, you want to talk about that? Thank you. Okay. Since we have the covenant, um, do you want to do that at the next meeting, or do you want to just vote to approve the covenant subject, subject to, to when we, town council's is, approval? Yeah. Why don't we vote it's, subject to Tom, uh, Chris, and Tom being okay with it? Fine. We would have to put it on the agenda. Yeah. Done. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Who, who, uh, who motioned it? Who seconded it? I motioned it. I seconded it. So we need to talk about dirt. Yeah, well, we have a couple of minutes. I you know we have the big, the big kahunas from the town of Littleton. Can we talk about Derek? Derek? From uh, Sam Park, the point. Okay. I mean by dirt. He's got a lot of dirt. He wants to get rid of it. Is it loom or is it right. dirt? Oh, loam, actually. Screen, loom. Well, you know, and gravel. The issues behind all that is that you have to pay prevailing wage on the trucking. You can't just truck it away. We understand that. Right. He's willing to even help out with that. He's, I guess he's told us. I, I don't know that 100% for a fact. Well, where do we have where we can stockpile? That's, that's the issue. Right behind the police station. Well, but the other question is, I mean, the, are the selectmen, they know about this. Are they pursuing it? There's, uh, it's not on the radar screen yet. Yeah, okay. Is a, is well, it's $29 a yard, it's not a bad deal to get a hold of. There's a huge amount of land behind the police station. No, I, to, uh, uh, yeah. 
obviously. But I mean, I, I guess my question is, we've probably brought this up maybe, I don't know, half a dozen times or a dozen times in a year. There doesn't seem to be any appetite. Question? The selectmen. Why? Are they going to build them that soccer field behind the yeah. Mor Morgan property? That's well, what we're that's, talking about. I mean, those are ideas, but I mean, there has, there's no traction in with the people who need to make that decision. Is there any way to get it up there to? Apparently not. We know that he's truck it to there. Well, regarding so that property, the selectman tasked the park in March, the Park and Rec Commission, the conservation to work out some, come to some kind of a, an arrangement or agreement on on how the Morgan property should be used. The one action that the selectman did take was to sign an agreement with. That we have a forestry foundation, which essentially got us out from under prior agreement that required the Morgan property to be used for conservation purposes. That framework no longer exists. Ooh, However, the Board of Selectmen encouraged the Park and Rec and Conservation to jointly work on a solution for what should happen with the property, and and we have not had. The opportunity to report back on that. Well, the sketch was generated, I think, by Rick Finley at your request that look at that park and rec. Yeah, but it's not it's it's not up to me. Sure, no, the board of selectmen has tasked you know the park and rec commission and conservation to work it out. Right, conservation. Since those two really those two approach. boards had been able to successfully come to an arrangement about the land swap, mm -hmm. right? So uh, it just seems a shame we have an opportunity to, to finally build some ball fields here, and we have spaces for them. I mean, if we had not, if we had land, that we could simply stockpile it. We could. Oh, why can't we put it behind the police station? Yeah, it's just sitting. It's just a big. Yeah, it would have to be moved again, but that is a kind of price spot. Two and a half acres of just plain open space. There's a septic system in the back corner. Yeah, right. Could, pipe that runs along the property it's line. Across the street, the I mean, it would. But there's uh, it's really open space. Is there any way to get vehicles up behind the Morgan property? <clears throat> well, Jimmy, there, there is a road. Jimmy and I had talked, and um, I don't want to speak for you, so you can jump in if you want. But he had said that Sam was going to go take a look at that and see if there was the possibility to, to put some in there too. But I mean, obviously the police station makes <clears throat> the most sense. But it's easy, but we've done quite a bit of work on the Morgan property over the years. The road is really not accessible to trucks. Yeah, we're going to pick up the right. It's a pond. There's wetlands right next to the road. There's a culvert under the road that's there. Um, It'd take an awful lot to be able to get a semi up there. You, you, you'd have to construct a road. Mm -hmm. Do it. So that is a police station. So then the issue is, you know, crazy. You're getting free mowing, but you got to make sure it goes in the right spot so you're not moving around. True. All right. And... Free is not free because depending on how fast they bring it, you know, who's gonna um, push the piles up and stockpile it? When we got the stuff from the police station, we had to run a bulldozer to uh, keep up with the trucks. And so there's some cost. It's a good deal, uh, but we were trying to get a group of people together to have a discussion to make sure it goes in the right spot. If you put it in the wrong spot, it's just gonna cost you money in the long run. And I don't believe it's green I think he's going to give you raw loan. That would make sense. Mm -hmm. Well, unamended loan. He's, he's trying to get it off site because yeah. it's, it's in his way. Um, mm -hmm. And he does want to help the town the best he can with it. It also lowers his cost if he's got to go across the street. Oh, he could sell it. Oh, yeah, if he goes across he the street. Sell it. Okay. Definitely lowers his cost if we can put it at the police station. Um, and then. I thought we owned a bulldozer. What happened to that? We used to. So Keith, what would you recommend um, uh, in terms of um, uh, helping the um, the park and rec and, and the other board? Um, well, it doesn't. Set, well, their task is only for the Morgan property. Yeah. And unless we're preparing to build a road, it's mm -hmm. not there. The Morgan it, property into the board that property. Is that what we're saying is the preferred option? No. I didn't think so. No. I'm saying that. No, I'm asking what it would take to get the uh, Park and Rec and the Conservation Commission to um, to dis decide where the boundaries are going to be on the Morgan property. 
I thought we were talking about where we can locate the loan right now. Well, some of it could go on the Morgan property. Some could go on the White Street property because we're going to need some down there. You just told me I could shut the loan. Well, the White Street property the White Street. right now is uh, open space. And it, and it shall remain open space until the legislature oh, passes the uh, Passes use this for recreation, but that's a year away. Well, you can see things behind the police station. And, yeah, the police station has the existing. And the school didn't want you to do construction on the track during school. Correct. Right. So you have a two month window, and it's very limited to, to get out to that field because you have to come from the school side. Right. So in another month, another the school will be out of session. Mm -hmm. well, we still can't put it. Yeah, we well, can't touch it until they. they it's open it. space. It doesn't mean we can't. Yeah, it does. It's got a CR restriction on it. You couldn't. That's why we. That's why we you had can't, to. You can't put dirt on, it, on on an open space. Why? <laughs> You're all there. Yeah, well, well, you, need need the conservation, you need the Conservation Commission's permission to disturb their, their land, and I think that I, I don't see how, it, how that sort of activity could be consistent with what they want to see. There. Well, let's just... It's a restrictive document. Yeah, I know, but, but, but if, if you want to trade them land... It's to take it out of their hands and put it back into the town's hands. No, well, so, Peter, come on. We, we can't touch it. I don't it see why they wouldn't allow it. Okay. Part, part of the issue is, is the preparation record has been out. Died on the so, so she's just starting to come back. Yeah. Um, she's just back this week. So. Are we waiting for Doug? No. That it's not coming? No. I am Doug. They're Doug? <laughs> Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. That's <laughs> definitely an upgraded duck. Taller, too. Taller. So, Mark, in case, um, I, did I explain that the White Street um, A&R isn't ready because the engineer moved his offices? And, and oh, what are we on? Plan. So this is the next month. 820. 820, right. Yeah, so we're going to continue on that. What about, um, what's on agenda for next? Um, let's see, the next thing, we've got the Zoning Bylaw Working Group on Tuesday, June 4th. Uh, June 13th, um, we've got a planning board meeting penciled in. Um, I was trying to remember, um, was that the next meeting date? Where is that meeting at? Um, With, we're going to be here or 307? Um, 307 for the June 4th. Upstairs. 7, right? Yes. Okay. And I will be just up time. Sure. Yeah, that would be zoning bylaw working group. Okay. You the thing that had been televised, but it's not going to be televised. The time? Seven. Uh, yeah, it's not going to be. It's going to be. If you're meeting at 307, you know, if you're bringing on camera. Yeah. Right. Um, are we going to try to meet once a month or summer unless we have anything pressing? That's up to you. Uh, well, if, it was up, if I was the chairman, <laughs> I would try to vote for that. Okay. Um, at one point we had mentioned June thirteenth for the continued discussion with the pledgers. That's what I got written down. To flesh it right. right. But then, but then that yeah, went back. Yeah. But then went went over. Did that? I was confused. Did that merge with the the zoning bylaw working group? We no, didn't do it that. Was, it was a progress meeting. I thought that it's your, work, it's your, your decision. Your goal was June thirteenth. That's what you said on the joint meeting on May 16th. Right. And then in the meantime, between mm -hmm. right, those mm -hmm. two, it would be what's now the June 4th meeting. Are we going to just have the June 13th? That's September. Okay. Well, we, we can extend the invitation to see if they want to come. The other thing is, we're going to, Sam Park is coming on the 13th. The June so 13th, that, yeah. So that's all we have, right, right now? Um, that's all I have right now, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Sounds good. All right, that's great. Good. So why, don't, why don't we do this? You know what I'm going to, you know, Pete, Richard. Why don't we put the little sign stuff on there since we have a little bit of time and we promised Richard that we would. How's that? Is that nice? Was that big nice? That's excellent. Oh, June 4th is a Tuesday? Yeah, it's this Tuesday yeah. coming. All right, so why don't we put the old stuff and we can at least, while we have time and we're not that busy, we'll start it. Mm -hmm. I check out the old files okay. over the weekend. All right, how's that? Is that a kind of gentleman? All right, we have a, 
Um, and then one more mail, uh, piece of mail. Uh, the accounting department asks every year if you want to have less than a quorum sign payroll and accounts payable. Practice has been to have it a full board vote and quorum. I just as soon leave it that way unless you want to vote to change that. Sure. So move to accept that. Second. Yeah. Move to keep it as is. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. I'll the motion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Does that mean can't sign it on his kitchen table? No. All right. Which one? I can't write yourself any time. Well, I think we should get a raise. How am I going to go on vacation? I'm trying to only do one, one a month. I know you love him so much, but just one a month. Is that all right? Well, what are you going on vacation? Oh, yeah, what about vacations? Oh, we have two more minutes. <coughs> I'm divorced. You know what vacation is? Going home and staying and being able to stay in my own house. And television too. Do you um, have any specific <laughs> dates in mind for vacation? Or your I'm sorry. going to New York for a wedding, and other than that, I'm my house in Vermont from the 4th of July. Just try to. Any, any I'll be around. Right. We can't. I got no life. So we have to block off that one. There's nobody know yet. It's too late. Right. 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 I'm okay all summer, but September is tough. All right. All okay, right, well, well, we'll shoot for the. Second or fourth, depending on how the month goes. So right now in June we're looking at the thirteenth. July that is probably Second or fourth. Second or fourth week. Thursday of the month. Um, July that would put us on the eleventh. I thought we were taking the summer off. Taking one meeting. The whole summer off? One That's difficult. Is that all right? Well, if we have nothing we won't come in, trust me. That depends on how this. Uh, in August. That's your bylaw business. Well, that, that's a, that end up being a separate issue. Right? So we will probably pick that up. Don't we have a subdivision? When is the next town meeting? Special meeting in October. October. All right, can we do the 8.30? So, uh, yeah, we'll 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 for August. Um, looks like the 11th. Okay. So July 11th and August 8th. I'm sorry. You're on. August 8th. <laughs> August 8th? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the second Everybody. My name is Melissa Robbins. I'm here tonight for Doug DeShane. Uh, I also work at the law firm of DeShane and Farrell. Uh, we're here tonight representing the Fletcher family for this land off of Great Road that I know you're all very, very familiar with. Um, we're here tonight for a preliminary subdivision, which I know some of you are also familiar with because this is the same preliminary subdivision that was approved by this board in 2009. Uh, we have two concepts before the board tonight. One is the uh, regular layout and the other one is the open space layout. I also have the engineer with me here tonight, Matthew Waterman from Nantech Consultants, and I'll have him give you a little overview of the two plans, and then if the board has any questions, we'll be happy to answer them. Good evening, Matt Waterman. Um, I'm sure, as you know, I'll go through the parcel just quickly. This is the uh, approval back in 2009. I don't know if it was in your packet or not. Um, the project consists of six parcels on Great Road. Most of you are familiar with it. The um, adjacent to the Tubby Park and including the Tubby Park, uh, the parcels range in size from 10 to 30 acres, uh, give or take. Um, the majority of the frontage, which is about 2,000 feet, um, is the farmland and the access to the Tubby Park, which kind of sits in the back right. Um, the total acreage is about 112 acres, 113. Um, the wetlands have been delineated and are shown in the kind of the olive color with the 100 foot buffer shown in red. Um, the lighter green, uh, the majority of it along this is the, the fields um, along Great Road. <clears throat> and then there's also a, an old abandoned Robbins, excuse me, Robbins Lane that cuts through the property. Um, the preliminary subdivision, um, which was very, the same plan that we submitted back in September of 2009, 
Um, we never did follow through on a definitive subdivision. There was a lot of work that was done towards getting that work completed. As many of you know, the, kind of the, the economy is a little different now than it was back two or three years ago. Um, so we're looking to get that process started again. Uh, obviously, with preliminary plan, getting the definitive subdivision going. Um, we've done two concepts, as Melissa said. Um, this plan will change when we move to the definitive phase. Um, and we have, the, I think, the comments from the previous is, you know, kind of to, to pull things back and preserve some of this, the, the, the agricultural, the rural farm fields. This is the conventional layout showing 22 lots. They're range in size from about two acres to as much as 10 acres in the back left, or the upper left, the north northwest. <clears throat> and then secondly, there was a open space parcel this was done kind of with taking the environmental analysis into, into consideration, the protecting wetlands, there's natural heritage um, considerations. Um, most of you probably are aware of natural heritage with the endangered species habitat. Um, it was in our environmental report, kind of cuts through the, the property. So just as a designer, um, and this was done back in 2009, it was updated with the butters and current information. Um, you know, my first stab at, you know, coming up with an open space was, you know, kind of preserving some of the environmental aspects and with the understanding that I know that, you know, some of the work we've done of late um, with other projects that have been before the board, um, that I think the board's focus is, is um, not only environmental, but I know the agricultural. So um, we we're hoping that we would kind of have that same understanding that, you know, that the board would hopefully be willing to work with us and when we proceed to the definitive subdivision stage and um, we did include a copy of the environmental report uh, talks about floodplain and general soils and um, things of that nature. We'd be happy to answer any questions. Were there any questions? Tell me about the different uh, soils out there. Paxton versus Canton versus Kinkley versus Woodbridge. Yeah. They're all pretty consistent. We did some unofficial soil testing out there. Um, the descriptions, I think, were provided in there, but majority of them are, um, there's basically three types of soils, a one, two, and a three, one being a sand, two being kind of in between, and then a three being, you know, a tight, like a loam, like, I guess a hard pan is what most of you would be familiar with. Um, then there's a third, or a fourth, which is D, which is wetlands. Um, but the majority of the soils, we're ranged between a type two and type three. Um, we did some testing, majority of it um, in this front, you know, maybe 50 acres. Uh, we did about 16 test holes, uh, deep holes. And then we did, I think, about nine or 10 perks. Um, all of them ranged from two minutes an inch to 30, and then there was one that was greater than 30, um, actually greater than 60. Uh, but the soils were pretty good. I know, I know that that was kind of a discussion at the back in 2009 that, you know, that I think there was the general consensus that the soils were not favorable here. You know, our first unofficial coverage, you know, was a blanket, you know, just to try and get as much coverage as possible. Um, things were better than expected, I would say. You know where that was? No, I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, I have it. I could look like that. Yeah, no, and now you see that around here. I mean, you get on the north face of a drumlin, and we see greater than 60s. We've seen them up off of Foster, or the not Foster Street, but uh, uh, the extension of Goldsmith heading out towards Acton. We did a project back uh, many years ago, and there was a lot of greater than 60s up on that hill. Yeah. Um, never, I don't think that project ever developed, but um, and I've seen them elsewhere in this general area. Basically, there's no change from this plan than there was in 2009. Nope, except it's all been updated to current assessor's right. records. Okay. And oh, although the comments way back when you're here in 2009 reading through it was why are you showing the prime agricultural soils, which is one of the concerns, prime and state listed. I mean, that was certainly something that's been an ongoing subject. And one of the things you don't mention, you know, some of the agricultural soils are a concern, but also the scenic views. 
mean, that those are sort of the two things that I notice you don't cite the scenic views. And in fact, from Great Road, which has been mentioned, but it's really those three things. I what is this? What are you talking about the soil? What, you, what do you mean by the soil? Well, the, their soil maps indicate what's prime agricultural soil, the best agricultural soil. That's a federal destination. There's also a state listed destination. Talk about soils, it's on soil maps, and uh, it should be shown here. I mean, so it's great for farming. So, and I think in the original discussions, when we were going from preliminary to definitive, we had stated that would work with the board in pulling back some of the development along the uh, Great Road because right. that was some of the where the better agricultural right. soils were. And actually, the board was inclined to do some agricultural work or have some sort of small working farms along that area. So we're cognizant of that, and we're certainly right. willing to have that sort of condition on the preliminary. How statement. deep is the um, agricultural soil horizon? How far back is it down? Well, how deep? Deep. Six inches, twelve. Uh, inches, I believe it was feet. probably twelve to eighteen in inches off the top of my head. Yeah, twelve to eighteen inches one. evenly spread throughout the side, or is it concentrated? Yeah, well, the majority of our testing, again, we, we were out in the field. It was accessible. It was easy. We could get as much done. Um, we did kind of crash through the woods a little bit, but uh, the soils that we encountered, the majority of them, we had it. Yeah, twelve inches, twelve, twelve. So yeah, about a foot. About a foot. Yeah, there wasn't anything. Sometimes we do encounter deeper tailed soils that have been farmed, uh, but we didn't encounter that as, as much here. And what's immediately below that horizon? The the B soil, the sand, the, the subsoil. Sand and gravel. No, it was a loamy sand, and then loamy it goes into a, the tighter sandy loam. Yeah, those are not the soils that are starting to Yeah. And are those lots that are shown in the front of the plan, are those in the heart of the yes. yeah, and agricultural the, soil? Yeah, and that's, again, that's kind of shown as this area here. Those this, maps are out and available. That's, that's why. Yeah, and I have, I did do some quick research today. I didn't find it quickly on my Google, but I think I've seen it on the, the, the Mass GIS, Oliver. Yeah. yeah I think that I'm, so I mean, other than the cost of the road, what's preventing you from shifting that backwards, down the back, shift it back down the field, down the hill? No, and I, I, I think, and it, I think, again, kind of correlating to this to to another concept plan that was in front of. It, I think there is, you know, a general consensus that there is some availability to try and create some open space along the front edge, protecting the, you know, the viewshed of Great Road. Um, kind of the gateway to Littleton and maybe getting in a little, you know, taking up or... Well, let me ask you a more specific question. Is there anything preventing you from locating those lots farther back so that there's no lots on that agricultural land? Yeah, so it can destroy the darker green, the wooded area. No lots. No, I don't think there is anything preventing that. Um, we haven't gotten into... I mean, obviously you have road lengths and you know, standard roadway standards that we would have to consider, but I'm sure we could. So what if we trade it off? I mean, let's say you got a higher density in the back than the front. That's no, and I think the definitive suggested. might come in with a higher density. This was, um, these are larger lots, obviously six acre lots, you know. Oh, I don't mean the conventional, I mean the on the open space. On the open yep. space. Yeah, no, and we could. Yeah, that seems to be the sort of the theme of what people have mm -hmm. mentioned over and over. I mean, now you haven't been part of it. What is um, what is your open space plan? Um, how does that pertain to our new open space bylaw? Uh, that the open space bylaw that was just approved at town meeting. Mm -hmm. but this wouldn't have to comply with that. Correct. Right. This is freezes only for the bylaw. That's correct. Right. Right. Yes. Well, that would mean I have problems with that either. Of the so, large lots. But I think that, uh, I mean, it's the intention of all the parties to pull, once we get to the definitive, to pull these <coughs> lots away. I mean, we have some work we have to work with with Heritage, but obviously uh, that's the intention of all the parties to pull some of these um, frontage lots off of the main road. Uh, just in general design, you just typically wouldn't do that. You'd start the lot right away. But we understand that there's very, you know, we're sensitive to the issue on the agricultural soils and the, the view shed on Great Road. So that would be something to take into consideration while developing the competitive 
And like I said, in the 2009 uh, preliminary approval, it was that was the single condition that. Uh, because the other thing you're showing there is you've got two access roads. I mean, what's, what's the, you know, why not have one access road that wraps around the back of the property? You have an existing roadway there now. You can just utilize that. You don't need to put in more. You mean the county road or, or what that property? No, the road that's there now to access the uh, oh, right. the the entrance. The entrance to the tubing park. Yeah, no, this one mimics that. It, it actually it, it mimics it exactly. Like they've done an A&R plan, and this is. This does that exactly. Um, obviously, there's a cul-de-sac bulb here. We would, you know, through traffic would be the, the goal of this is also to maintain the tubing park. Um, so I don't think have there's to any. Take a left to well, the tubing park wall. isn't. You said preserve the tubing park. I mean, that goes away if you do this open space. Huh. No, that would be part of this plan. Mm -hmm. You better show on the plan. Well, this, like I said, this is just preliminary, and let's be honest. Right. The only reason we're saying this. Is to lock in the, the, the freeze the zoning Correct. right now while. Well, but even in this preliminary plan, you're not showing us there's an existing commercial operation on that property. This is exactly what you showed in 2009, right? right? That's know. right. And I think and that even the colors that this plan right. right now encompasses the two park. I, mean, I, I think it. It is the two park. But I think the intention of this plan is to include the land under yeah, the tubing park to keep it open. Park. So in case the flushes do decide that they the want to use, the you know, if it shows that that's marketable land and we want to push back into the land, if you don't include it in the preliminary um, subdivision plan, then it's not included. You can't include it in the definitive. So that's why you include it all at once, even if, you know, when we get to the definitive, it probably will look very different, if, especially where the tubing park is taken out of it and some of the boss shift more towards that area that we're talking about. Right. Uh, but you have to, like I said, you have to include it in to get the protection under Mass State Law. No, but this is the, the parcel B is the open space on this plan, which comes around, comes back down, and is 42.6 acres. And then parcel A, which is labeled Tubi Park, is 28.38 acres. Is and the tw parcel A is not part of the open space? Correct. Okay. So I, I guess I got a little bit lost. You were saying that. That was so there really is no open space road. protected where people don't care that much about uh, <coughs> having those stuff and so on. You're saying the dark green is so open space? That's right. So 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 and the dark green is. I mean, there's concerns for natural heritage, certainly. That's right. I recognize that, but <coughs> what the open space that we would find useful is agricultural land and the scenic right. view shed. Away from the road. And I think when we go to definitive, I think it could be a mix of both. I think that we can, I, there's certainly plenty of land to work with natural heritage here and pull away from the view shed without having a huge impact uh, to the lot, number of lots here. I'm sort of, sort of curious about the large swath of green that goes north. One of the concerns people raise that's uh, to the west of the tubing park, and that's not in the view shed because it goes down. Sure. So why aren't you doing something there? That would seem to preserve agricultural land because I don't think we're that bad. Towards this, the, right. This is the tubing park. Yeah. Um, Where the light green is? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. That yeah. is. Uh, yeah. Okay. And so the open space parcel ends yeah. here and is, it's, it's kind of an odd shaped parcel with an, uh, about 420 feet of frontage next down and then widens up. Mm -hmm. um, it's not color coded. It's it's just shown by property lines. The color coding is just tree or or existing. Yeah. What's that to the right? Okay. Right, the dark green. Right. And that was a conversation with <coughs> why not something there. My understanding what you're calling open space is really wetland because yeah. that's what he claimed. There's yeah. wetlands back there. Yeah. No, there's a portion of it that's wet. No, no, to the right, to the so right, far right. Yeah. Keep color dark right. green. This is this is this is the back side of the ski hill. This is woods. Oh, okay, oh, that's going out. There's small ponds right. here. Yeah. Right, but that isn't that usable water or open space for us. That's mm -hmm. not a buildable area. Uh, that would be mm -hmm. one of the privately owned by the ski area. Oh, one of the issues we had when we first started this a while back, and we never addressed it, which hopefully with, the, with what we're doing with the um, extensive well, recreation right. bylaw and, deal, and talking to them. Yeah, and, uh, Fletcher's as well um, uh, in the next couple of meetings is this has an extensive recreation bylaw on it and we never really addressed what happens when you take the land that goes with 
the extensive recreation bylaw and you take start breaking it off what happens to the extensive recreation bylaw so that was one of the issues when we first when it was first presented to us and we, we deferred that because we never nothing ever went further than this so that's probably one of the things we'll talk about in, in that subcommittee but that was one of the things because when that was originally proposed to us the cubic park was the was the extent of use and the land around it was left in its natural state yeah. to support the tubing park. So we have to come up with a resolution on that. Okay. So I'm, I'm curious as to why, I mean, they filed this obviously to get ahead of the open space bylaw change that we just had, but I mean, we have right now a good faith effort going on to get a, um, the, open, the uh, intensive use recreation bylaw, whatever. We're going to use to address the fact that they really want to develop this commercially. A commercial component. Right. Commercial component. So to the extent that I mean, you know, if, if they're going to move forward with a definitive subdivision plan, I mean, you know, what what incentive do we have to continue those discussions? Well, I think that the discussions on the commercial recreation side are going to continue. I mean, just because you, I have plenty of clients that get plenty of definitive subdivision plans approved and never ever use them. But they have them, and it certainly adds value to the property to have both of them going on in parallel. And I think that you know this plan, this preliminary plan, can go on in parallel. And I think the definitive work will definitely continue um, in parallel to your discussions with the commercial open space. Um, but I don't think there's anything wrong with doing them together. It certainly brings value to the property on both sides, and then the town can decide, and the developer can decide what's best use for the parcel. It's a baseline. Right. Gives you, a baseline Gives you the highest and best use for your property. Mm -hmm. And just to answer your question quickly, why we would show that open space like this if we knew the agricultural line was back. This is a typical open space. I mean, generally when we go to an open space concept, we're going to pull into a cluster as tightly as possible to leave as much contiguous open space in the rear, rear or portions of the property that we can possibly give it. That's why I was saying it's unusual that we try to have the viewscapes in the front kept wide open or pulled back. Usually you have the entrance to the development right away and then lots of the open space over to one portion um, to keep it contiguous and keep it open. And certainly there's plenty of other open space around here. So. No, I just, I wanted to hear you say it, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> Are you looking for a, um, a date to come back to us sooner or later rather than sooner? Um, there, if you uh, continue this till this discussion until June 13th, you still have time to make the decision within the time frame on the preliminary mm -hmm. and you have time to wait for the Board of Health to have their 45 days to um, make their comments. So do you want, want us to put you on for the 13th? Though? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. I think Mr. That, Clyde. Um, what um, subdivision regulations are we using for this? Is it the new one? The old, old, old one. one. No, they filed this so that they wouldn't have to. No, the subdivision regulations, oh, the, subdivision. the new ones. No, the new ones are for this one, but the open space is the, is the old one, yes. This is this is the move. The, the, that that those regulations came in between both both subdivisions, so they don't they don't get the protection from that aspect. Some of the measurements on the conventional uh, sidewalks. Mm -hmm. um, so they're not. <clears throat> I, I just I had one question on the uh, the right of way that would be left on the open parcel. How would that work if that's considered uh, open space uh, conservation land with a right-of-way on it? Sure, we have actually have this all the time when there's trails or existing uh, right-of-ways on the property. When you do a conservation restriction, restriction with Chapter 184, that's the process that this ultimately goes to. You can reserve existing passages like trails and um, access roads, especially emergency access roads, over that land, as long as they're put in place prior to the conveyance. And, and what would it be used for? Right now, and of course, I think the biggest comment letter here was Don Parsons from Westford, so I think that at this point, the use of that Robbins Road would be for emergency access from the Westford Littleton parcels. Um, that would be my thoughts at this point. Ooh. Are you talking the car uh, path? Are you talking uh, the county road? No, the purpose of the county road is just we're not. Oh, not the emergency access. We're not going to. It, whatever it's doing now, we're going to maintain whatever That's it does. Right. It's a pretty rough road. It's right. a rough road. I'm sure there's people that if we took it out would say, hey, we have access to it. Right. So we're not going to impede that. We're, we're going to leave Robbins Lane. Right. Even if we shift lots around, we would do it in such a way that 
That we wouldn't, would we wouldn't put a house in the middle of Robbins Lane. Right. We would we would ensure that. Where the heck is that? Nor could we. It's a yeah, cart path. Yeah. 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 It's a cart yeah. path, yeah. and yeah. Yeah. we don't know if it was ever discontinued or. Yeah. At this point, no. it seems to be a properly yeah. reserved <laughs> cart path that people have the right to pass and repass. But still, the the ultimate. The ultimate answer is if it exists today and it's a dirt road and people have the right to pass and repass, when we get a CR from the state, it'll show on the plan as existing cart road to remain. And yeah. then people can still use it. But don't you control today. all the land on both, all the land around it? We do, but I think it, it, it extends towards Route 110 in Westford and all. Right. It, it, it's complex because of the county road. I've had well, discussions at times. Right. telling who has rights to it. Exactly, because people reserved, what happened was people reserved the rights in it before they conveyed it. So I think. I won't give you the title history, but I think Nardone basically owned 90% of this property and reserved lots of rights over parcels that he conveyed prior to conveying them out. So it's not the Fletchers that have the right. Fletchers actually have the duty not to block it, not to use it. And the other one is a emergency access. The tubing, yes. That's, that's right. The, the main access right. to the tubing part. Right. So it's like a public way. So, so one of the questions I have gives you this sign, which comes back from 2009. And this sort of goes back to how you start to do open space plan. Um, Rich and I attended a workshop with Rondo Rent, and I know Doug mentioned he took a course through it. And typically, what you do is you exclude the mandatory no build areas, the wet ones, because you know, that makes sense. Secondly, you go and look at what preferred characteristics you want to save, like the prime agricultural land, the view sheds, you take those out. You built right on top of them. Then you put in the houses where they should go, then you put in the roads, and then you put in the division lines. This runs counter to that. Right. So, yeah, it's, it's been, what, four years ago we saw this, and a lot has happened. Right. But it doesn't sort of honor those concerns voiced by sure. various people. Tell. So right. I'm sort of surprised that it looks like that. Right. But I think a lot of the legwork would happen between the preliminary and the definitive. Right. This is just... I mean, I think really the intent of the preliminary is to open the discussion. Even though I know there have been discussions mm -hmm. previously. But it doesn't look like you have a lot of options anyway. No, they do. They can yeah, put stuff so. behind the, the I mean, viewing this, areas off the agricultural land. And we're showing monster we estate lots, back. I think, as well on the conventional, where there certainly could be smaller, tighter lots. I mean, I think those are seven, yeah. ten acre lots. I think this is just... You know, this is what the first this is more It's the whole idea of clustering. You, you actually have to spread out where you don't want them. Right. Which, why don't we, when will we see the uh, the next open space on the 13th? No, that we wouldn't do another rendition until we file the definitive. Okay. Right. So we're just getting at this. Uh, yeah, I, I understand. Why don't we just continue? And this is exactly the same thing we saw in 2009. Yeah, um, it's a meeting, not a hearing, so you don't need. Time certain, um, we can go over the agenda. Okay. So, just so I'm clear, are we continuing to give the Board of Health their proper time to issue a decision and then the Board will issue their decision at the next meeting? Correct. Okay. okay. Yeah. okay. We're also having a discussion with the Fletchers on the 13th okay. about the extensive recreation, obviously, this will tie into that as well. Okay. So, um, I thought that was a fourth. We're doing that thing, we're having a public hearing on the plan. We're planning to stay put with them on the 13th of June. Right. Yes. You said you were going to be here. Yeah. Okay. And that's room 307. Right. But even though people would like to see it, yeah. it's going to be All right. To segue on a comment that, um, that um, Mr. MacGyver did make, um, if, uh, if this ever goes to um, another rendition of open space, uh, one of the concepts we talked about um, recently was, was to um, not build houses right next to each other, but to separate them so that uh, any wildlife paths that are there right now aren't blocked sure. by a row of houses that act like a Jersey barrier. So you put a cluster of three or four here, a cluster of three or four there, a cluster of five or six here, so that you, you have not contiguous open space, but, but um, Maintain a corridor. uh, corridors of open space with lots of open space around it. And obviously so farming is slightly different, and that's the other use too. I, mean, I understand what you're saying with wildlife, so people have corridors, but if you're farming, you don't make a squirrel and you have it sort of together. Would you still have farming if that? I think if we kept a corridor in the front, there certainly would have to be some maintenance, and I think it would be the intention of the parties to do something up front there to maintain a, a view shed that the planning board and the developer could agree with, with, regardless of what it is, pumpkin farming or keep it mowed or have some sort of agricultural frontage. 
Or what's been in place for the last 10, 20, 30 years. Right. <laughs> okay. Something like agricultural view shed that could be determined at a later date. You're thinking about a donut farm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can do it. <laughs> Put you on to the 13. Okay, great. Thank you very much. You should. I don't remember. So you should. All right, no, I, I think that was. I don't know if the term was used last time, but I know that was the intent was to protect that view shed. Yeah, and it's been the master plan, the open space plan. So they have how long to come back and plan? We've just filed in seven months of the filing of the preliminary subdivision. Just look on. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mario have contact information. Yeah. Yeah. Nancy, your mom? Yes. I will. <laughs> Did you ask her out the first time she ever met me about that yet? No. Can we, can we I will now. <laughs> can we get off the TV if you're going to? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you guys don't get to talk nice to people. You really need yeah, to have to, yeah, you got to bring your game up. You really do. What are you talking about? Bring it way up. Yeah, yeah. Her mom's a sweetheart. <laughs> okay, can we, uh, I'll have to tell them to dissolve the committee board meeting. Do we have anything else? Uh, minutes, I have no issues, but we should approve it. The paper road. That's a, oh. that's a southern suit you're wearing. Where are we at with paper road? Gumball. That's like right out of Mississippi. I went, I went to college in Tennessee. So. <laughs> Brandon. Brandon. Uh, it's How many witnesses do I get? You graduate from so there? I, I learned how to dress for hot weather. So. And they all wear suits. It looks degrees. like you be, should be serving cocktails. Doctors, white linen, and a bow tie. That's no it. socks. Uh, anyway, no so socks. this, okay. this yeah. looks good. Okay. Uh, I, I saw no issues with it. Uh, other people had no yeah. yeah. right? um, What are we talking about right now? Paper okay. road. The paper, paper road. Well, we got two things. We got the minutes from what date? Um, Actually, two, April 25th, and yeah, was, oh, we had public and yeah, exactly. Oh, yes. Who's half asleep? From April. Mr. Roy. April 25th. We're both the same day. Yeah. So, anybody have any changes? No. No, no they're, they're all seem fine. Okay. Peter What's says I attributed some seconds, seconds to him that somebody else seconds. must have seconded. What is the, uh, what's, what's the paper on? Okay, um, I drafted a procedure. Pr yeah, thank oh, you. Right. So, uh, I sent that out Send to the boards and departments. Uh, right, the only uh, comment I got back was one from Roland telling me how much he likes checklists. So yeah. he's happy. Yeah. It, it looks good. good. They work yeah. for airplane pilots. Mm -hmm. So, okay. should we try this? And Let's try it. Sure. Shall we move to accept it? Mm -hmm. I move. Right. Yeah, change the name on this. Donald Guy was not the clerk anymore. Okay. I take um, yeah, procedures. A lot of work went into this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, so so let's, yeah. Thank so you. Um, a motion to approve it. So move. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. All right. Oh, um, before we uh, are we on to the next thing, Mark? Yeah. All right. Oh, we're done. One, uh, one more thing before we exhaust uh, time here. <laughs> yeah, um, actually, the draft minutes from April 25th. Did you vote on that? or did Yeah, that's yeah, we did. Yeah. So, who, yeah, I think who, we did. Who, uh, who motioned? Did I, I didn't. Yeah. I, make, okay. I, I moved it. Uh, I made who seconded on the minutes? I seconded. I can yeah. second. Share the chair first. No, no, no. Which minute? First, second, whatever. This is the second. Keep it trying to pass. Yeah. <coughs> who seconded? I make a motion to vote on the minutes. It's like from the bag or second. Day. So, okay. so, so all second or third time. Aye. Can I vote on this chair? Yeah. Okay. Right. 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 Thank second. you. Sorry, I missed that before. So, yeah. so that means you ain't around. I'm the chairman. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Now I can start taking time off because I feel really good. Why? Yeah. We feel safe and secure and more. Do we have a set of goals and objectives for this year? Do we need a set of goals and objectives? Let's do better than we did last year. Do we year. need a set of goals and objectives? I think we should discuss it. Uh, what, the other what, thing I, what would be one of our goals? Question, please. Go ahead. Please. That, uh, I do have some paperwork on accessory dwellings and, and taking it out of such a, a vague 
set up the way it is now. So you want to do that for your it's, it's a great, I would it's a great like, uh, goal. So I have paperwork from a numerous other towns that have been approved okay. uh, that Marin actually gave me, and, and I took That's a what I felt was good ones from the bunch of them together. And then Accessory dwellings, meaning in-law apartments? Is yeah. that what you're talking about? Yes. Yeah. The way it is now, it says um, that the person that's in the other unit either has to be a blood relative or functionally dependent upon the other unit. Mm -hmm. It doesn't say the main house is functioning on them or the, the you know the subway is functioning mm -hmm. on these. And it doesn't as functionally dependent can be numerous things, and it, it's left up to someone's interpretation of functionally dependent. Mm -hmm. So, a nanny you could have living in in, a, in an accessory dwelling. According to the board now, is not a functional depend is not doesn't fall into the functionally dependent realm, which I don't understand because she's you know and, and she's cooking, she's cleaning, she's taking care of the kids, she's doing it. She's a function of the family. Well, the the present board does not see that, so I would like to make it so that it's more concrete. You want to take it? It's a, right now. It's a ZBA issue. You want to try to take it's it? It's a board of appeals. Yeah. yeah well, let's take it out of the ZBA and make it part of our zoning. Yeah. Okay. That's Maybe. a great. That's a great goal. Talk about that, sure. Um, It'll be your legacy, Peter. Ooh. I have. Uh, I have one too. In the uh, village common district, uh, I think we should look at excluding certain uses going forward. And one of those uses would be uh, the, the sale of cars. Now that wouldn't preclude anybody that's that's there now, but. Uh, we also would preclude another auto dealership from moving in. Maybe, maybe we could do something about scale. Uh, maybe, yeah, it maybe makes sense to prohibit, but also to limit would be helpful because that certainly would help. Yeah, yeah. Like this, well, it's, it's that's a good use, idea that, that it's about use Don had. And, and limiting. Uh, so maybe we, nice look at, maybe we look at other <laughs> uses. Like we, 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 uh, we might limit find. the number of cars could be sold. Right. Right. Like um, a, a guy that repairs cars and sells them, he should be able to. But sell a few cars that aren't under mm. dealership right. requirements, but any, you know, I, I like that idea. I don't want any more dealerships running. Even downtown. if you have a guy selling four or five cars on the front of his lot, why do we need that there? That's supposed to be a commercial, <coughs> uh, a, a center of commerce, and uh, and uh, well, it's, and good. it's you guys like Banks good. Automotive buys a car, fixes it up, and sells it. You know, he, if he sells so many a year, he doesn't have to have a license. But you could make yeah. an ancillary to his primary use. Right. Then and so that's. Yeah. And, and these pre existing. But you gotta remember, there were used to be four car dealerships in the center of town. And they're pretty small. They were, well, they 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 used, the car dealerships back in the center of town, you, they used to be able to bring your cows and let them you know, graze don't, at the common too, but we don't allow that anymore. So yeah. do, you, do you think it's a great idea? <laughs> no, 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 to keep I don't, I don't have a problem with that if you want to. Have four more dealerships in town? In town. So we have to change our use. But I think overall so. scale is an issue for the center of town. You don't want to dominate with something that. Yeah, Good clock. idea. We'll work on that. Yeah. Let's, let's have that in there. Yeah. Next. Right. 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 Yeah, it's easy enough. It's just, just draft it up. I like that idea. Move to close the meeting. So okay. move. Wait, do we, get, do we have a list for this? You write it all down? So okay. those, those two goals uh, amend the uh, village common for things that we don't want to see there and possibly things that we do want to see more of. I think we close the meeting by the way. And then we can close the meeting. All right, can we go? Second. I was in favor of closing it to say goodbye by shutting the switch off. Thank you. Thank you. Aye. Done.